Flying your drone at night is one of the most rewarding experiences you can have as a drone pilot. Some of the footage and shots you can gain will be simply fantastic. However, many people are concerned about the rules in terms of night flying and whether or not a recreational flyer can do it safely. The answer coming in today's video is actually simple and complex all at the same time, but today we will break it down and make it simple. Today's video is focused on flying your drone in the UK skies at night. We will cover the rules surrounding it and give my essential advice and guidance to ensure you fly safely, get the footage and pics that you want and get your drone back in one piece. On first glance, it is too easy to just state that there are no specific rules in terms of recreational flight at night in the UK. Okay. So that was a quick video, wasn't it? Well, it isn't quite that simple and I will explain why. First of all, we need to take a look uh, very quickly at the CAA guidance on this topic from CAP 722, which is pretty straightforward. It states chapter 2.1.1.2, VLOS operations at night simply states, there are no specific prohibitions to VLOS operations during nighttime. The basic VLOS principles still apply, i.e. you must be able to see the aircraft and the surrounding airspace. The CAA acceptable means of compliance for drone use also adds to the topic with an important mention in the visual line of sight section. It states that the visual line of sight distance depends on a number of factors. Although there are not specific limitations on operation at night, the visual conspicuity of the UA and ambient lighting may affect the distance to which the UA may be flown from the RP. So although there are no specific rules stating you must do X, Y, and Z at night, the very nature of those rules change in their meaning when you do fly at night. It's a fairly obvious statement that you can see more things in the daytime than at night. So even if you take the legislation itself, which discusses the need to avoid obstacles in the air and on the ground, you can see that flying at night becomes actually a very different beast. So to assist you in making your night flights, here are some tips and guidance. Number one, daytime inspection, if possible. Visit the site of your flight during the day and take some notes. Look for issues like wires, trees, and anything else which might not be as obvious during the night. Personally, I also take pictures on my phone to help remind me later when visiting in the dark. When you return to the site at night, make sure you observe if anything major has changed as well. My second tip for night flying is to plan your launch and landing meticulously. Look for at least one other emergency spot to set the drone down should anything happen to stop you landing back at the original home point or an issue with the drone itself develops. It's a lot easier to plan this out in the daytime before you're flying night and under sudden pressure to find another landing spot. To be honest, a backup plan, landing plan is always a good idea, not just at night, but it's even more important. My third tip is create a flight plan. Whilst you are visiting the site during the daytime, have a look at where you intend flying and plan your basic route. This will help you to gain situational awareness when you're back at the site in the dark, and I find it actually improves my overall confidence. Look for permanent issues like wires, towers or parts of buildings which might not be as obvious at night. Also create a safety buffer in your flight plan around any obstacles as well. Although of course it is easy to fly around and miss objects during the day, at night you should give yourself a lot more space to navigate around any obstacles. The fourth tip is about your launch site. Illuminate it. Personally, I use a studio light with a battery as this gives me a great amount of light to take off and land with. Although you can use a range of decent panel or torch lights to create a safer area to operate within. This will help with a number of issues, including eye adjustment when looking down at the screen or sky and then suddenly down to the dark ground. You don't want to be caught out peering at the ground to work out if the drone has landed, etc. And a lot of night flying issues which end up damaging drones actually happen in the last few seconds of the flight. Ensure the light that you use is pointed towards the ground also so that you don't dazzle yourself. Speaking of your eyes adjusting, that is my fifth tip. Keep your eyes adjusted to low light. Consider where you will stand and fly in terms of the light around you and from your illuminated launch area and how that might affect your ability to view the night sky. 
The less light sources between you and your drone, the better. Put street lights between you and your drone, and it will quickly vanish into the sky. Also, keep in mind that your eyes will require adjusting when you go from the sky to the screen. So try to keep the screen time to a minimum to aid to your situational awareness. Set up your shots before you fly and ensure your settings are correct before you take the drone uh, very far away from your takeoff point. The sixth tip surrounds lighting and making sure your drone can be seen. Drones like the Air 3 have an impressive level of lighting, including a downwards lamp, which is very useful. However, many drones like the DJI Minis actually turn off their lights when you start to record. So you will need an extra light to ensure that you can see the drone and keep within the rules. Now this can be achieved through a simple Cree style strobe light which can attach to the drone via a small bit of Velcro and creates a lot of light. If you're concerned about pushing the drone itself above the 250 gram limit, then remember you can also fly sub 500 gram drones in the A1 airspace, so similar to sub 250 gram drones if you hold an A2C of C. So if you're concerned the weight of a light tips you over that 250 gram limit, then get an A2C of C. There are some very cheap options out there all the course. My seventh UK drone night flying tip is weather. You will of course be checking the usual weather apps etc and ensuring that conditions are generally good for flight. However, it is essential to remember that without the sun, the weather and temperatures can actually change quickly. So beware of how your drone is flying at higher altitudes and pay particular attention when flying in cold conditions. Build up of ice and moisture on your props it can happen really quickly. It sounds like it's something that wouldn't happen, but it really does. This behavior could be a change in the way the drone flies, but also just from the sound. If there's a sudden change in pitch or a, a wobbly noise, etc. If so, get the drone back and check on it before continuing. So overall, you need to be even more careful flying your drone at night to ensure that you're not exposing yourself to more issues. Even though there are no specific rules for night flying, Applying the same ones for daytime flights can actually cause many more unique issues because it's nighttime, of course. Hopefully this was of help. If you're new here, hit the sub button to get more drone rule videos and the latest news from the world of drones. Sean out.